Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you? What a lovely day it is. It's uh, Wednesday the 3rd of January. And uh, the day's getting longer. The sky is clear. We had a lot of rain over last night. Everywhere is soaking wet and puddles everywhere. But it's, uh, it's all cleared away for the morning. Although it's still a bit windy. So, how's it going with you? <laughs> how is your life? How is your... How has 2018 started for you? It's been an interesting uh, start for me. I had uh, a couple of call-outs over Christmas. One, one uh, was to a guy whose veneer had fallen off. And another one, uh, I think that was... One of them was Boxing Day. I think one of them was Christmas Day. One was Christmas Day, that was the veneer. And the other one was... Uh, Boxing Day was a, a patient, a 15-year-old girl who got an abscess uh, around a, a retained lower left E. So we can't uh, really, don't want to extract it and uh, we, I want to try and root treat it, but we couldn't root treat it on the, at the time because it was swollen. So we sort of tried to dress it and put some, gave us some antibiotics and stuff like that. But um, the biggest problem I've had, <laughs> and it is quite a big problem, well it's not, it's not such a massive problem, but I mean it feels like a big problem when it happens to you, is that I actually forgot to pay my um, ARF this year. I actually, I traditionally pay it on December the 31st and for some reason, which I can only attribute to being overloaded with a ton of other stuff, uh, I just, it just slipped my mind and it slipped my mind until it was too late and uh, you know what the ARF is like you know a minute to midnight you're fine a minute past midnight you're that's it you know you're you're off the register uh, and uh, you can't just pay there's no sensible way of dealing with it and I know this because I've given advice to dentists who've done the similar similar thing I've talked I've spoken to dozens of dentists who've rung me up this time of year and said Derek I forgot to pay my ARF what do I do the answer is you apply to be restored to the register. <laughs> There's no fast track. They don't. They don't, um, they don't differentiate between dentists who've had a 25-year career break and dentists who've had a 25-minute career break. <laughs> and they don't. Uh, they don't. Uh, you know, they don't. They're not even interested in in uh, trying to extend the deadline, payment deadline for you. It doesn't matter if you ring up credit card in hand, they're like, no, you know, you have to go to the website. You have to download a form. There's no, there's no online application process. You have to uh, uh, download uh, an application form, 24 pages of paper. You have to fill it in. Uh, you have to, for, I've got to say, it's not the most difficult form to fill in. It really isn't. It's, you know, it's pretty well, you know, providing that there's no, um, I mean, obviously you've got indemnity in it. It's just, it's just tick, 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 you know. Is your CPD up to date? Yes, tick. Is it, it, are you healthy? You know, do you have any communicable diseases? No, 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 no. So it takes about five minutes to fill it in. And then uh, you have to go and get a passport photo. For some reason, they they want they want a photocopy of your passport of, of some sort of photo ID. And then you have to go also and get a passport photo for some reason. And uh, and then get someone to certify that that is uh, a true copy of the document plus your passport photo. Uh, which in my case was another GDC registrant. And um, and then you send it all off. And uh, if you're sort of sensible, you send it off next day delivery, don't you? So I've sent it off. I sent it off uh, about five o'clock last night, and it will arrive at 83 Baker Street at nine o'clock this morning. And then that's it. It's just a question of how long it takes them to get round to processing it. <clears throat> and if they want to be really bloody minded. They're going to uh, find some reason, aren't they, to delay it and slow the whole process down. Which is, you know, if they were 
if they were well organised and uh, at least the least bit, <laughs> the least bit cognisant of the problems that uh, we face in general practice in terms of holding the whole show together, they would have some sort of fast track team to process people who, who were on the register on December 31st but just forgot to pay. I don't know whether they will. I don't think they do. They certainly don't when you ring them up. When you ring them up and you and, and you say, uh, you know, what's the? I've forgotten to pay. Like they can't. It's not like they don't get any of these phone calls. I believe I'm the only person that rings up on December the second and says I've actually forgotten to pay. What do I do? But they act like you are. They're like, oh, mm, yeah, mm, yeah. I can see what that. Yeah, that would be a problem. Yeah. No, wait. Let me just have a look. Let me ask my colleague here what happens there you know oh well did you make any payment at all have you made any payment at all I mean what sort of question is that have you made a no I have not made any payment at all that is why I'm ringing I am ringing because I have not paid my ARF I've not paid any payment at all oh well if you haven't made any payment at all then I was just thinking we might be able to try and keep you on the register but no we are definitely gonna to have to take you off the register I'm afraid you're gonna be taken off the register Fine, okay, I'm gonna be taken off the register. Now, then what happens? What happens then? Then! <laughs> oh, then oh, then you have to apply to be restored. So if you go to our website, you can download this application form. Papyrus. Download 24 pages of papyrus and fill it in with ink. And then take a, a, a silver a photograph, you know, like a... <laughs> mustn't be digital. Mustn't be taken. Uh, I mean, even with the passport office now, you can do this on a computer. You can take a computer photo of yourself, not the GDC. Oh no, it's got to be uh, a shiny, you know, and it's got to within the millimeter. It's got to be the right size and everything. So uh, you know, as one day they might drag themselves into the 21st century. Anyway, I'm not going to release this video today. I think for obvious reasons, because first of all, you know, I don't want to jeopardise my reapplication by taking the piss out of the GDC at a time, a highly sensitive time when I, they are considering whether I'm a fit and proper person to join, to rejoin the register. Uh, and uh, so I'll, I'll release this later. So if you've been moaning about the lack of videos, then this is why, okay? It's because I'm not a dentist. I'm not for the first time since the 31st of December 1981. Oh, Watty, he's not, I'm just angry. I'm not the angry dentist anymore, I'm just angry. But, you know, I rang, I mean, there's a couple of things. If it ever happens to you, and it probably will, because everything happens to everybody sooner or later. Um, just understand, they don't treat you any differently. And so if like a memory lapse is just treated exactly the same as someone who uh, you know, has carried on practicing and, and, and tried to avoid paying. You know, someone who's uh, avoided paying. So you're, you're not treated any differently. So just expect that, okay? And then obviously you have to pay another couple of hundred quid for the privilege of being two minutes late. I mean, literally, I mean, I could have paid them within 48 hours of the deadline, but they're, they're just not interested because they're a statutory body you know, it's their jobs worth, aren't they? It's you know, it's the law. It's the law. We're a statutory body. It's the law. And I can, I, to a certain extent, I can see their point when they say that you know, if we said, well, you know, we give everybody a seven-day grace period, then what happened is people will be ringing up on December the eighth, saying, oh, I've missed the, I've missed the grace period by two minutes. Can you please let me pay? So uh, you, know, you have to have a cut-off date. I mean, even the Dartford Tunnel, you can go through the Dartford Tunnel and pay up to two days later. I mean, I think even 48 hours, 48 hours is not too much to ask, is it? I mean, is it too much to ask for, for to be able to pay, let's say, by, by the, the end of the first working day, right? Bearing in mind, you know, you know who gets inconvenienced by this, don't you? Not the patients, really. Not, not the dentist, you know, it's the patients. Who's going, who's gets, I mean, I'm on my way to work, right? I've got no patients booked in. I haven't seen any patients. They're very clear about that. You're not allowed to, uh, well, I mean, they're not. They, they, what they say is they ask you if you've seen any patients, please tick this box. But then they are decent enough to say, before you tick this box and send it back to us, please get some legal advice. 
which is their way of saying don't tick the bloody box <laughs> you know just if you have if you have seen any patients get legal advice before you declare it uh, because you know you're obviously in the deep doo-doo so uh, you know any any idea that you might have that you know that you could possibly carry on working for a couple of weeks while your application goes through forget that okay that's not you know you're not going to be able to argue there's a public interest in you working as a dentist uh, while while not registered in the same way as any as anyone who's not a dentist would be able to argue that they were at dentist in in the public interests while not you know the only difference is that obviously you're eligible to go on the register and, and, a, and a chap who's just doing it in his garage isn't isn't eligible but they treat you the same they treat you the same they treat someone as I say who's just had a memory lapse as the same as someone who's um, who's deliberately trying to avoid paying and uh, you can't uh, so you know from a practical point of view I mean what does that mean to the surgery well obviously it means that you're gonna have a couple of weeks off doesn't it depends on how fast they are I mean, if they if they fast track these uncontroversial, uh, you know, easy reapplications that uh, where where the dentist has literally <laughs> just been on the register like two days ago, if they fast track them, then you'd be back on within a day or two, wouldn't you? If it was like the passport office where you could pay to have your application fast tracked, then you would pay, wouldn't you? And you'd be back on the register within a couple of days. You know, all of these things are far too sensible. Far too, you know, or like, or an online application. All these things are far too sensible for the GDC. You know, they're, they're not, they're not, they're never going to do these things. So, <clears throat> what it means is that a lot of the patients who are supposed to be coming in at the beginning of April, uh, beginning of um, January, are now going to be coming in at the end of January. So, all the income will still come in in January. I mean, assuming that they don't don't go full full retard on me. And reject my application. <laughs> it might be, it might be the, uh, it might be the set of circumstances they've been waiting for for years. They have had one day you'll forget to pay. Don't you worry, one day you'll forget to pay. But um, you know, all it means is that this 15-year-old girl, who I was going to root treat her deciduous molar before she went back to school, is now going to be told that I've got the flu, and I can't see her. So she'll have to keep her swelling. And then, like I say, it really doesn't, you know, to, I mean, although it's a disaster, and you're being shocked when you realise you've done it, and I was like, I was like, I won't repeat what I said when I remembered, but basically, you know, you're, you, you do go very quickly from oh, it being the end of the world to, um, you know, it's just another stupid thing that hundreds of dentists have done, and, and dozens of dentists probably do every year but I won't pay my direct debit they send you a direct debit with your reapplication form but I'm, I haven't filled it in so I'm going to continue to pay later because I don't know I think they take it out in September that's what I object to if they took it out when you know uh, at the end of December even the last week in December I would pay by direct debit but they don't do they they debit it on the 1st of September or something and I'm not having that not a thousand pounds So anyway, I'm going to uh, you know take the opportunity to uh, get rid of my uh, backlog of paperwork and uh, uh, and do oh, I should be able to do quite a lot of stuff you know in uh, in two weeks and then and then I'm going to have a manic end of January. The end of January is going to be absolutely manic, isn't it? Because I'm going to be seeing patients twice as fast as I normally do, just so we can get the January uh, payroll paid. And I'm going to. Um, I'm going to, you know, I mean, if you carry on paying the staff and keeping the, keep the staff, I'm going to try and find something for them to do. But it's not fair on them, is it, really, that, uh, that uh, you know, you can't really lay the staff off um, just because of that. And some dentists would. Um, but they would. Would you? I bet you would, wouldn't you? I bet you would. You look like the sort of person that would. Uh, anyway, never mind. Never mind. A, uh, might be the best thing that happened to me, to be quite honest. I'll uh, I'll talk to you when I've got something else to say. All right, bye.